Hello and welcome to this course on MATLAB programming for numerical computations. This is week 10 of this course where we are discussing ordinary differential equations. We talked about ordinary differential equations, boundary value problems in the first three videos of this week. In the previous video, we introduced DAEs or differential algebraic equations. In this video, we are going to take one example of DAEs using MATLAB. Okay? That example is that of a modified Robert Robertson problem. We are going to solve it using ODE 45. If we recall what we did in week 8 of this course, ODE 45 solved a problem of the nature dy by dt equal to f of t comma y. Okay? This is what we covered in week 8. In this week, what we are going to say is ODE 45 solves one more set of problems and that set of problems that we are going to talk about in this week is where you have mass matrix involved. Okay, now let's go back and think about what we did in week week eight, and indeed in uh, the third video of of this week. Okay, when we had equation of the form dy by dt equal to f of t comma y, you know we gave at t comma y ODE function t comma y comma param of course param was optional okay we are going to retain the exact same format for solving odes uh, and daes as well why because it's the same solver ode 15 else okay so just the way we wrote the right hand side equation f of t comma y we are going to same way write the right hand side equation for f of t comma y also Okay, what's going to be different is the definition of the mass matrix. Mass matrix has to be defined for ODE 15S to solve to solve the DAs. Now think about what this mass matrix is going to be. We have D by DT of y which is x1, x2, x3 that is pre-multiplied by this particular mass matrix. Okay? So what is going to be the first guy? It is going to be x1 dash plus 0 multiplied by x2 dash plus 0 multiplied by x3 dash. So the first guy is going to be 1, 0, 0. What is going to be the second row? is going to be 0 multiplied by x1 dash plus 1 multiplied by x2 dash plus 0 multiplied by x3 dash. So, it is going to be 0, 1, 0. What is going to be the third row? The third row is going to be 0, 0, 0. This is the mass matrix. Okay. So, let us go on to MATLAB and try to solve this problem. Okay, so, what I have done in MATLAB is already given the values of parameters. We will give the values of parameters as 0 0.5, 2.5 and 5.0, let us say, it is not 50. Okay, so, DAE of Robert's modified Robertson problem and let us say function. Function dy equal to Robertson fun t comma y okay parameters variables x1 equal to y1 x2 equal to y2 well actually we don't need this right we will just go and solve the equations directly okay functions for the three equations okay so that's going to be dy1 comma 1 equal to dy2 comma 1 
equal to and dy 3 comma 1 equal to ok. So, what is 1 comma 1? It is alpha, it is negative alpha into y 1 plus beta y 1 y 2 plus bet into y 1 into y 2 ok. What is going to be the second guy? It is going to be alpha x 1 minus beta x 1 x 2 minus, minus gamma x 2 ok. So, let me copy this and paste it over here it is alpha y 1 minus beta y 1 y 2 plus gamma into oops minus not plus minus gamma into y 2 squared ok and dy by dt is 1 minus sum of y ok yes and end. So, this is our Robertson fun ok. What do we need in to solve using Robertson fun is t sol comma y sol Robertson fun t comma y comma t span comma y naught y naught was given as 1 0 0 and t span let us say is 0 to 100 ok. Now, there is one more issue we have not yet defined the mass matrix ok. So, defining the mass matrix mass m is equal to 1 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 0 ok and we will do the plotting. ok. So, let us now see how to give the mass matrix. To do that let us say help OD 15s ok. This is the documentation for OD 15s ok. OD 15s can solve problems of this nature with mass matrix m t comma y. Use OD set to set the mass property of this function ok. The mass matrix need not be constant. The mass matrix can be a function of t and y as well that is interesting. So, let us look at ODE set use ODE set ok. How do we use ODE set? create an alter ODE set options equal to ODE set name value name value ok. So, what are ok we do not want to change relative tolerance we do not want to change absolute tolerance we do not want to change this we do not want to change this we want to change the mass matrix ok. So, this is what we need to change. So, it is mass So, let us say opt equal to OD set mass ok and where do we give this? ok OD fun after y naught we can give options. So, let us give the options as
OPT. Okay, so let's save this and see what happens. Let's see if we get an error or this runs without an error. Okay, Robertson ODE and looks like yes, it has solved the ODE and maybe we didn't need to go right up to 100, maybe we should have just kept it at 40. So let's just change this to 40 and run this. Okay, so this is what we get when solving the Robertson ODE or Robertson DAE. Okay, this is how x1 decreases, this is how x2 increases and then decreases and this is how x3 increases with time. Okay, so that is the example of solving a DAE using uh, the mass matrix approach of ODE 15S. Okay. Okay, so with that, I come to the end of this video. What we have done in this video is talked about how to use ODE 15S to solve DAE problems of importance uh, from a practical perspective. Okay, in general, X and Y variables that we've talked about, the, the, the uh, algebraic variables and the differential variables can themselves be vectors. And if they are vectors, we are going to have a mass matrix of a particular form, okay? All we have to do is define the mass matrix in ODE 15S. That's the only difference compared to what we have seen in week eight, okay? That's the approach that we are going to use in order to solve differential algebraic equations in MATLAB using ODE 15S. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I will see you in the next video, which is going to be the last video of this week. Thanks and bye.